could just buy the star. Imagine if they had more, just keep buying them. <laughs> Imagine if you had to pay real money for stars. I think this looks like a decent hat. You pay $5.99 to buy stars to get you further in the game. Achievement unlocked! You fucking idiot! <laughs> Uh, that's, that's, what I call. that's probably like the most sought after achievement. Yeah, you had to pay five ninety nine. You pay this much. Item. You pay this much. You do that spot on. No, that's too long. I hate that voice. <laughs> I, I loved Star Fox Adventures until I got older and realized it's fucking awful. Yeah. Fox! I like it because I'm a perfect. <laughs> I fucking hate Tricky. Fox! That's one of ours! Oh, wait, that's Bill. Bill? Oh, yeah. Bill! Fox, that's one of ours! <laughs> Man, I just remember how bad Star Fox Zero was. I hope we get a, new, a good Star Fox one day. It didn't do good, so we might not. Good lord. Well, there's no wonder it didn't do good. When I rent a game and it sucks, I don't feel bad. I rented that and I felt so fucking mad that I had to wait two days to return and get another game for my queue. You felt bad? Yeah, I was. Uh, I felt like I just wasted my fucking rental. Man, no one should ever feel about that about their rentals. Yeah, drives me mental. Mental rental. Look at the fish. I am a fish. I am a fish. What a bitch. You ever see the movie Help I'm a Fish? I don't think I have, no. It's fucking weird. It's not by Disney. I think it's like by Don Blue or something. And the villain has like the... War Dude, the gold moon is back in there. Yeah, I know, but I don't have uh, air. Oh. The movie, um, Help Him a Fish, the villain has, like, one of the most brutal deaths I've ever seen. Really? In a kid's movie, usually when they kill the villain, it's not too grody. How do they die? But, um, they're all fish, and there are people who got transformed into fish. And the main villain was, for some reason, he had this vial. And every time you drank it, or when you drank enough of it, you would turn human. Or make you smarter, or make you advance as a species. So the kid who got turned to a fish is like, So, you're a fish, so you're not as smart as you were before. He's like, what's two plus two? And he makes the guy drink it, and he tells him. And he's like, so, why don't fish have legs? And he drinks it again and explains it. And he says, what happens when humans um can't breathe underwater? And he's like, they die. And as he drinks it, he turns into human, and you hear bones forming and crunching and going... <laughs> Ugh. And the dude just, like, fucking dies. And it's really gross, because he's, like, kind of naked looking. Like, you, you can almost see everything. This is, like, a fucking kid's movie. That's kind of disturbing. You see the evil fish guy turn into human and form flesh and bones, and you hear crunching noises, and he... He drowns and just dies and floats away. That's actually nasty. Yeah, like he floats away realistically into this like turbine or something. <laughs> this is fucked up. What's even more fucked up is have you ever heard of a dog's life for PlayStation 2? No, I haven't. So imagine this stupid game where you play as a dog and it's like a dog simulator. <laughs> it gets a story where you have to save its girlfriend, like, near the end of the game. And you're in a fucking dog food processing factory. And there's a woman in there that's the main villain. And you push her into it, and she gets turned into dog food. What the fuck? And that was the end of the game. They're like, now you're dog food. <laughs> and now and I, you're dog. I found that kind of scary, because you just threw a woman into, like, a meat comp meat processing thing that, that is disturbing to be honest i don't like it was very b movie like so you, not not like the b movie i mean like a shitty movie so the death wasn't anything too grody but when you think about it that's really fucked it, up it also featured jerry seinfeld as a b in it i should play the b movie game one. there's a b movie game 
Yeah, for Xbox 360, I believe. I keep... I have, uh, just not been able to get a copy myself. Why not? I don't know, I haven't found it anywhere. Maybe I need to find a PlayStation 2 copy if it exists. Maybe you need to... I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna look up how much that is, E-Movie. You could enter paintings in! Holy shit! Is this... Wait, is it... What?! I entered a painting. Super Mario 64? What is Two? this place? Is it... Super Mario 65! We're going to Peach's Castle. Super Mario 256. No, this is Super Mario 128. What? You're back home. <laughs> I didn't expect that. So they're all interlinked, just like Banjo Tooie. Damn, I didn't expect that. Like, <laughs> that was neat. So the B movie game is for Wii. It is. Yes. So I could technically uh, pirate it. It's for the PlayStation 2. And look, I could go back. God bless. Came out. It's by Vicarious Visions, the people who made the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. It is. They also made Ratatouille in Barnyard and Kung Fu Panda. I like Kung Fu Panda. Jack Black. I had um, Kung Fu Panda for Xbox 360 as my first game for a while. It's pretty good. The one where they all fight? No, not the shitty uh, Smash Brothers one. Because that was in Games for Gold, I think. Mm, yeah, it wasn't that. I, I played on 3DS as well. It was horrible. It was worse on 3DS because the frame rate was fucked. What does this woman want? Oh. She's just telling me that. I need to learn how to get there, damn it. Doing his best? I'm doing my best, but this is hard for me to control. You'll learn, you'll get your grips. I'm already gripping it. Grip it to win it. More music notes. What is this, Banjo-Kazooie? Actually. It's closest we'll get. I mean, like, we're not going to get a new Banjo-Kazooie. That platform didn't come back. Maybe it'll come back if Neither we... is Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just thinking about Banjo-Kazooie. I can tell. Thinking about Baldi's basics. I almost wish I could get that. And I can't. File. This is stupid how I have to come back out and in just to get that. I want to get this moon or whatever it gives me. You gotta take the moon, Brian. You gotta take the moon, you take the stars. What the fuck am I saying? Take the moon and take the sun. <laughs> that was beautiful. That's better than the harmonica. I knew there would be something down there. No, don't worry. I'm not going to take a harmonica out. Oh, are you? No, I've lost it. That wasn't sarc sarcasm. You become quite skilled at coming shame. flat. What? You become quite skilled at coming flat. Coming flat on what? I don't know. That's what the hat guy said. Oh. Well, it would be nice if you if you turned into Paper Mario and gave us a good Paper Mario game. Paper Mario Adventure. A little paper. Oh, shit. Hey. It's a new funny paper. I'm a new funny paper. New funny man. 19 out of 50... Is that about me? Sports game. Funny Man 2000. Funny Man... No, you're Funny Man 3000. I'm KG Solo Man 3000. <laughs> yes! KG Solo Man 3000. Can I go in? No. <laughs> God, that was perfect. KG Solo Man. I, and I aim to keep it that way. I remember, um, hey. in the commentary for Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny, 
Here's a zipper. The Jack Black said they almost cut it, the movie and didn't do it because they wanted to remove the guy saying, Jeez Louise, Papa Cheese. Why would they want to remove that? I don't know. They wanted to cut that scene out. And he said he would have dropped the whole movie on. They did that. Man, that's dedication. <laughs> I mean, if you can't have your movie say, Jeez Louise, Papa Cheese, then, like, is it really your movie? You know what? You're right. If I ever make a movie, I'll try to incorporate that. If I ever make a movie, I'll probably uh, put all my inside jokes in it. What about all of our inside jokes as a channel? That's what I mean. That would actually be hilarious to me. <laughs> Action movie sequence. Uh, main character drives in motorcycle and is on a fucking wild chase. Uh... There's a guy on a motorcycle next to him with a machete who's aiming to slash his wheel. And there's another guy on the side of him with a gun trying to shoot a bullet through his head. So he's speeding, he's trying to get out of there. And he manages to trick the other guys into crashing into stuff in the desert, like rocks, and they all fall over. So our main character gets off his bike. Hey, there's some coins back there, man. Yeah. Our main character gets off his bike and approaches the two men who've crashed instead of helping them he goes and says it's a shame really <laughs> and he shoots him in the head with the sh that actually rem that it. actually reminded me of a video game you feel lucky punk followed by a loud alternative rock indie shake bam, 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 bam. like my songs yeah but like heavier yeah maybe heavier and louder, like Sunset Overdrive soundtrack. There was another one out there that I can't get. Oh, wait, here it is. Oh, weird. It's a zipper on a zipper, huh? <laughs> what? What? Okay. What? what the fuck? <laughs> Super secret zipper. What the fuck? This game is driving me crazy.